Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. Definitely, I think the city needs to do more. Just displacing homeless, moving homelessness from downtown to East Austin is not addressing homeless. Just like we built, just like we built the detox center, we can build a center for the homeless. I think that we need, we're, we're far behind in addressing, and it's very shameful and heartening when you have 5,000 homeless children attending AISD. This is very shameless. It tells a lot about our city. If we're not, we're a reflection of those that are most vulnerable and most in need. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. Remember one of the, my neighborhood was the first uh, uh, neighborhood that, that incorporated the community policing. And it, it really, it really worked. We were able to identify 68 of the toughest kids in the neighborhood. We were able to get them through, all through high school, except for one. And they all went on and became very successful people. So community policing does work. Let me tell people, it does work, and we need it badly. Thank you. Thank you. So again, yes, yes, and yes. Thank you. We have an issue with homelessness, and there's no doubt about that. When you look at it into our parks or our creeks, green belts, and just over the underpasses. So we have to do more. And if it has to be where people feel uncomfortable because they're sick in order to address it on a systematic basis, then we have to go there. So I appreciate your support on that, and I will absolutely be leading on homelessness. So can we please say? I previously had it in the crime prevention chair for another city where we focused on community policing and I look forward to expanding that to here and on accountability absolutely not just Austin Air Bay, everyone else. Thank you. Thank you.